If you were around during the 2014-15 Premier League season, the name Yannick Bolassi definitely rings a bell. The most memorable moment of Bolassi people share most is his performance against Sunderland during that season as well. With an assist and a hat-trick which he scored in the space of 12 minutes, Bolassi was a force to be reckoned with. Or was he? This memorable performance took place in the beginning of April, meaning that the Premier League was expecting big things from him next season. During that summer, he went to represent the Democratic Republic of Congo National in the Africa Cup of Nations, helping his country advance to the semi-finals, scoring and assisting once. Once summer was over, the next season was overshadowed by Leicester winning the league and Bolassi and his teammates were only able to settle with 15th. But people were still obsessed with him and when you watched him, you understood why. Bolassi was a magician and a team player at the same time, who had the ball glued to his feet, making the knees of the Prem defenders weak just by attempting step overs. It was almost like he put on a show and didn't really care about anything else but making sure that his flair was outstanding. I mean, just by looking at his stats here, it shows how much he really loved taking on defenders. Other Premier League teams, especially Everton, were interested in signing the skillful 25-year-old and Bolassi was moving up, setting himself up for success. Unfortunately, during that same season with Crystal Palace, the £14 million market value winger tasted the first stage of his demise. Just before Christmas in 2015, Bolassi suffered a disrupted calf muscle, putting him out of action for the next 45 days, leading him to miss nine games of that season, making his stats all the more impressive. In the following summer, Bolassi made his big move to Everton, signing a five-year deal for a whopping £25 million. Bolassi played a total of 15 games for Everton, still taking on players, yet his usual goal impact remained low, scoring only once before he slowly drifted off into irrelevancy. Almost exactly one year after his injury at Palace, Bolassi ruptured his ACL in December 2016, and this time he was out for 370 days, missing a total of 53 games for Everton. When he came back in the 17-18 season, one of the most disturbing things was not that he only scored one goal in a 3-1 loss to Man City, but that he was also missing his flair. The defenders, who used to panic and scurry away from him, were no longer afraid, and Bolassi was sent out on loan to join Aston Villa in the Championship division. Although his old self did rarely shine through, he was not happy during his spell at the championship side and cut his stay in half, returning to Everton in 2019 in the middle of the season. That only lasted 10 days though, as he was off on loan again, this time headed to Belgium to play for RSC Anderlecht, where his old self had returned to full form, scoring 6 goals, getting 3 assists and probably a few broken ankles in just 17 games. Being in red hot form and having clearly gained back his confidence, Everton fans were looking forward to welcoming back the magical winger and support them in the 2019-20 season, right? Wrong, Bolassi was sent out on loan again, this time to the 19 Portuguese champion Sporting Lisbon. With only two goals, Bolassi was clearly not enjoying his time there and made that very clear in articles published by the Daily Mail and even in interviews stating that his time was a disgrace and having to chase people to get paid. The fans however argued that, although he came during a terrible season, he was still the worst player. Following this catastrophe, Bolassi went back to England, not to Everton though, but out on loan to a championship side again. Middlesbrough this time was very keen on signing him, however, they're probably thankful that they didn't as he only played 15 games for the side with 7 goal contributions. The season ended and his spell at Everton was over and Everton released Bolassi, leaving him to continue his career elsewhere. Kaikor Rizespor signed Bolassi in the summer of 2021 as a free agent. That's right, a free agent agent. Bolassi played 27 games except when he was out injured for two weeks and scored twice, however the club still ended up being relegated in his first season at the Turkish side. Bolassi is now still playing for the Turkish second division team, although he has been quite the breakout star, becoming the third highest goal scorer in the league with 17 goals in 25 games, helping Rizespor to regain a place in the Turkish Super League. You can judge for yourself if it's impressive or not, as it is the Turkish second division. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video about Yannick Bolassi and his career since his breakthrough at Crystal Palace, please like the video and share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe. See you in the next one, bye!